All right, today we're going to talk about rose quartz. And rose quartz, beautiful pink, between a pink and white spectrum on the color. You could even get this where it's a little darker pink. And quartz, rose quartz is a very common crystal. So you, you should be able to pick this up pretty much anywhere. And a lot of people that have crystal collections, you already have a piece of this. I mean, it's so common. It's inexpensive. You could get this in all types of shapes. You could get this in all types of sizes. I mean, there's no end to rose quartz. You could get it in polished spheres. You could get it in um, pyramid shapes. You could get it in egg shapes. There's towers, like kind of like I have in the background here. I mean, you name it, you could get it in the shape of with rose quartz. It's very, very common. And that doesn't mean anything, though. If Just because something is common doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. Rose quartz, if I had a pick, has to be the number one go-to crystal for that deep, universal, compassionate love. Definitely. If, if you have to reach for one crystal, this is the one. One crystal to work with the heart chakra, this is the one. Rose quartz. It's a go-to. It's just a go-to crystal for that. So, you could use this crystal actively. You could use it passively. Because it's a quartz, I would definitely recommend to cleanse it before you use it. Um, you can activate it as well, but I don't think it's necessary. But, and again, I'm going to have videos on charging crystals, activating crystals, all that kind of stuff. So, rose quartz, let me put this one down and grab another one here. This one is a polished flame. And like I said, you could get rose quartz in so many different types. It's unreal. So many different types. But the main thing rose quartz does is it purifies and it opens that heart chakra at all levels. And it's that deep motherly love, that deep love. Think of the love like how your dog loves you. Dogs have no judgment at all. They're just perfect. They're just, they just love you no matter what you do. You could suck and the dog is still going to love you. It doesn't judge you. It doesn't look at you and, and think, man, wh what is this person doing? They're an idiot. No, they love you. They're going to give you everything. Their heart is for you and you alone. It's that's the best way to think of rose quartz. Now, working with rose quartz, every, it's all about the heart chakra. Like I said, this has to be the number one. There's a couple others, which I'll make videos on, of course. But rose, rose quartz is the go-to. And this is also something, it's going to replace all the negative energy with loving energy. And if you watched some of my previous videos, smoky quartz is one of the best. It acts like a filter and it draws in that negative energy. And what smoky quartz does is neutralize it. Rose quartz takes it a little bit further. Rose quartz takes that negative energy, that junk energy, and instead of just neutralizing it, it converts it into loving energy, loving vibes. So you're getting a double whammy when you use a rose quartz to do for that specific reason, to get rid of negativity. It's going to replace it with that loving energy as well. So that's important, very important. So this is kind of like that deep, compassionate, loving crystal. When you use it on your heart chakra, it's going to balance it. It's not going to make it overactive. It's not going to make it underactive. When your chakras are out of balance, your chakras need to be balanced. This one, it's going to perfectly resonate with your, it's going to 
all the vibrations coming out from this, whether it be passively, actively, it's going to resonate perfectly with that heart chakra and make it the way it should be balanced. You got to work with it. You got to use it. You got to just keep going with it. And it's going to benefit you. It's going to. A lot of people have overactive heart chakras. A lot of people have underactive heart chakras where they're, there's, they don't feel a lot of love. This is perfect for that. This is going to balance you. It's going to open you if you need it opened. It's going to close it if you need it closed. It's going to make it exactly where it needs to be. And that's very, very important to keep a healthy emotional state. And this is one of the best crystals for that. So let me show you another one here. This is a rough specimen. And you could almost, it's kind of even hard to see the pink. It, it, it depended on the video here. It's a very soft pink. But it almost looks like regular quartz from certain angles. But I'm sure you could see the pink in it. Very soft. But this is a rough, rough crystal. And this is what they use when they cut and polish it. And it comes out to be something like this. So I just wanted to show you that. And for my personal collection, I do have some more towers and stuff like that with rose quartz. I have one that's a monster. But um, generally speaking, you just want a nice palm size crystal to work with. And this is the best bet because you could lay it on your heart chakra. You could hold it in your hand. It's very versatile. You don't want some huge rock laying on your, your chest. So... One of the other things that might surprise you is I use this because everything associated with this crystal is love, 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 which rightfully so, but do you want to sleep better? Here it is, baby. This is the one I'm telling you. I discovered this years and years ago and I keep going back to it. There's a lot of other crystals out there that are associated with sleep and, and this, that, and the other thing, but I'm telling you, rose quartz. Now, some of those other crystals are like your, your crystals where, say for instance, uh, let's think celestite. Celestite might overwhelm you. It's a great sleep crystal, but it's a crystal that's going to help um, beings like higher dimensional beings communicate with you through your dreams. So when that happens, you need some excess energy to work with. When that happens, sometimes you can't sleep too well. It might keep you awake and have the opposite effect when you're trying to get those cool dreams because you need a little excess energy. Rose quartz, you just want to sleep and you don't want to worry about any, you know, crazy interdimensional astral travels, lucid dreaming, anything like that. Use rose quartz. If you just want a normal sleep, you want to sleep good, this is it. I'm telling you, it's one of my favorites for sleep. And there's a couple others. I'll, I'll go through them all eventually. But rose quartz, you want to have a good sleep, relaxing sleep, keep all the bad dreams away. You want to keep all that crap away and just feel better when you get up, filled with energy try rose quartz seriously try it it works wonders it gives you such a sound sleep and it makes your dreams just happy happy dreams so this rose quartz connects you with universal love energy and that's what kind of makes it so powerful it just connects you with the from the earth up to the universe and and everywhere in between so highly recommended and it's very easy to use. It's one of the easiest ones, if not the easiest crystal to use to open and balance that heart chakra. And it, it just gives you the ultimate, it's the ultimate love stone. It's the ultimate love stone. And I won't go crazy talking about more, 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 but it is a beauty. So definitely you want to work with your heart chakra you have to have rose quartz in your collection. You got to work with it. It's, it's, a, it's a must. All right, guys. Please subscribe and help me grow my channel. I'm a new channel. And 
in one of my other videos, I mentioned I'm going to plan on, once I hit about 1,000 subscribers, I want to do live, free live giveaways where we're going to have some type of drawing where you guys could win stuff like this totally free of charge. And I'm just going to ship them to you. And that's that. So keep checking back. I'm, I plan on doing at least two videos a week going forward. So definitely a lot of content and a lot of crystals to go over. So many. And I love talking about this stuff. So it's going to be fun. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.